Today we're going to talk about how to join a wire shock leader to a light tippet for IGFA fly fishing. IGFA rules for fly fishing allow no more than 12 inches of shock leader to be joined to your class tippet. Most times that's made out of fluorocarbon or monofilament, but sometimes if you're fishing for something toothy like a barracuda or a mackerel or a shark, you might need wire, and that necessitates uh, a little bit of special rigging to uh, get a strong connection. The first thing we have here is our IGFA class tippet, and class tippets have to be at least 15 inches inside the knots. This one is well beyond that, so we're safe. But you'll see what I've done on either end is I've constructed a bimini twist, and that will aid in securing 100% or close to 100% connection between our butt section and then our shock leader on the other side. So let's get started on how we're going to actually join this piece of wire shock tippet to our class tippet. What I've done first of all is I've created a loop or a kink in one end of the wire and that will facilitate the type of knot that we're going to use which is called an Albright Special uh, to join these two types of material. Now the Albright Special has been used for a number of years. It works really well um, with monofilament, fluorocarbon, you name it. but but it's one of the best knots to use when you're working with wire. And this is how you tie it. You start by inserting the double line in through the bend part of your wire. And one of the things you're going to have to adjust here is that IGFA rules measure the beginning of your shock tippet from the single strand of your class tippet, which is at the beginning of your bimini twist here, to the eye of the hook. So you're going to have a little bit of double line above your wire um, shock tippet, and we'll show you how to measure and adjust for that. So once you've inserted the double line in through there, you're going to start by making repeated wraps back towards the knot of the bimini twist, and depending on how light your line is, it's going to dictate how many wraps you want to do. We're using 12 pound monofilament here, which is not terribly light or terribly heavy, so roughly 12 wraps will do. If you have heavier mono, you could do less. If you're doing light mono, you could do more. And as I'm wrapping these, I'm pinching them as I go so they don't unravel and they try to stack as neatly as possible. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then what you want to do is you want to take the tag end of your bimini, the end of the loop here, and insert it back through the same direction that it went in. And when I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that down tight to where my last wrap was. And that's going to hold that for right now to keep that from unraveling. The first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw on the bimini side or the single strand side of my class hip. And what that's going to do is draw up the loops that are on the end of the Albright to get those stacking up right. So we'll start by doing that. And once I do that, my next order of business is to move this entire works down to the end of the crimp in the wire. So there's not a lot of space where things can come loose. So you can slide that down as close as you can get it to the end. Again, you want to make sure your loops are not coming undone. You can do another pull here on this. Now, when you pull on the loop side of your bimini, what that's going to do is it's going to tighten the wraps that are closest to the end of the wire leader and that's going to be the part that's going to keep these wraps or part of it that's going to keep it from coming undone. Oftentimes it's helpful to put a to use a pair of pliers to hold onto the wire here and then you can simply pull on this to snug this up nicely and then alternatively again pull on the standing part of your class tippet to make sure everything snugs up nicely. You want to see the wraps drawing down nicely, you don't want to see anything overlapping or kinking. If it draws nicely and neatly, you know you're tying a good knot. Okay, now that's in place. Now I have to trim this. It's important to trim the right part, obviously. This is the tag end of your bimini. You can trim this fairly closely. You can just leave a few millimeters of tag there to make sure it doesn't come out. Normally it stays pretty well tight. 
And what you have here now is your Albright connected to your Vimini twist. Now we need to finish this off. We need to get rid of this tagged um, piece of wire. And the easiest thing to do here is hold it with a piece of pliers. And we're going to do just a simple series of barrel wraps. If you haven't tied a haywire twist and done barrel wraps before, we have a, an IGFA instructional video with Tommy Green that shows you how to do this very easily. So just do three or four or so tight barrel wraps on top of each other. Now we need to break this wire off. And to do that, you put a kink in this and you make a crank in the tag end. And what you're going to do is just turn this a number of times and it will break off completely and there'll be no burr whatsoever here. So now we have a clean connection, but we still need to attach our fly and we need to make sure that our overall shock tippet is not any longer than 12 inches. So as I said before, we measure the shock tippet from the single strand of the class tippet. So in this case, we're going to have to measure here at the beginning of the Bimini twist to where we want this to be. Now, with this piece of wire, we can easily determine where the fly is going to be by just making a crimp or bending the wire over. I'm doing this at roughly 11 and a half inches to give myself plenty of room. And now all it is, is a simple matter of attaching your fly using a hair wire twist. Put your fly into there. You know exactly where that's going to line up because you've measured it. Now it's a matter of just doing four or five haywire twists. And then finishing it off with four or so barrel wraps like we did on the other side. Again, to finish that off, we're going to make a little handle. Now that we're all said and done, we can take a look at what we have. We've got the fly attached to a wire leader that'll give us some protection against a fish that has very sharp teeth, something that might chew through monofilament or uh, fluorocarbon. And we can see when we measure it, again, from the single strand of the class tippet to the eye of the hook. We're right at about 11 and a half inches, so we're completely IGFA compliant. The only other thing we need to do now is you can take the Bimini twist at the other end of your class tippet and simply attach that to the butt section of your fly leader with the knot of your choice, a blood knot, uni knot, whatever you like.